You know, on Loveline over the years, I've talked to many young people with specific, particularly people who have certain religious orientations, will reserve their virginity for that kind of behavior, and it's really problematic. Did you get into any of that? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what we do, what we, the way that we talk about sex, sexuality, and sexual practices at Harvard Sex Week, it is a student-run mm -hmm. initiative, and I do, like, I do want to be clear about that. We do involve a lot of clinicians. We have Planned Parenthood come and talk to us. We always have the Alliance on Teen Pregnancy um, work with us, and we work with our university health services, our office that against sexual that works against sexual assault and violence prevention. And um, we work with all of the different students, counseling groups that also work on our campus and all of our, and our mental health services. Okay, I'm but feeling. I'm feeling. Just FYI, incident. I just if I could say I'm feeling a lot better about your this Me whole too. thing. It yeah. sounds very sex positive. Well, I not like just it. sex positive, but the the nuances are being explored, the clinical realities are being explored, and then again, a tra you know, the aggression, sexual aggression against women is so massive yes. on campus now. You mm -hmm. can't, you know, the fact that you're getting into that I, again, yeah. hats off. My question to you though is, what kind of criticism have you been getting, and how have you been mm -hmm. responding? Exactly. So we ha we've been responding to a lot of the criticism that's been coming in because I think it's been very singular and focused on this idea that the what, what, and the but workshop is the only workshop that's being run or the only class that's been given. And people are not looking at Harvard Sex Week as a holistic enterprise that takes place over this week and involves a variety of different discussions of different forms of sexual decision making. And what Harvard Sex Week is here to do is to open the dialogue on sex, sexuality, and intimacy on our campus and talk about sex and sexual practices in a way that doesn't condone any one type of sexual decision making but just emphasizes that all of it needs to be thought of in, with regard to consent, to your own needs, to your partner's needs, that you have a potential partner, and if you don't, that's fine also. Um, but all of it needs to be done in a way that is consensual Erica. and that, that we're all we're con constantly yeah. thinking about health and... Um, no, Corinne, Corinne, you're awesome. You're so well spoken and, and you're intelligent and everything. But but come on, you you named it. You knew that people were gonna like kind of be up in arms with that name. What what in the butt? It could have just been called like anal sex, and I think that wouldn't even get as much as what what in the butt. So like I think you guys sort of kind of named it, and, knowing and, it was gonna get a lot I, I would of sort attention. Of follow that not only in terms of getting attention, but maybe they had uh, you know wanted to get the kids in the door yes. to you know have, to do something provocative to get yeah. this discussion going. What do you say? Absolutely, absolutely. I would say that we that there are definitely a few things about sex week that are very intentionally provocative because we do want to bring people into the door. We want to bring people into the room, and we want people to be excited to talk about this and to not be ashamed to talk about sex and sexuality. Because I think one of the worst one of my one of my worst fears for college campuses is that sex is something that's only talked about in mm -hmm. in a shameful way. Yeah. People go out and they seek it either online or in dark places or at parties, and that's how a lot of the sexual yeah. aggression on our campus happens. That's how a lot of sexual violence takes place and people aren't willing to have frank and open discussions about why this is happening. Damn. I do not want the students on my campus right. to be getting all the information they get about anal sex from violent right. Corinne, aggressive porn. Which right. Is a lot of I, right. 